So far, in the interaction with a child component, we have seen how the parent component can pass on data to the child component, and at the same time, how the child component can intercept the change in that input property value. In this video, let's see how the parent component can directly access properties and methods of the child component. So in the child component, I'm going to create a new property called name and set it to Vishwas. I'm also going to create a method called greet Vishwas, which simply alerts, hey Vishwas. Now, a lot of times when you have nested components, you're going to want to access the properties and methods directly in the parent component. And the way we do that is using template reference variables. So in the parent component template, that is in app.component.html, we assign a template reference variable to the child component. Let's call this pound child. Now using this reference variable, we have access to all the properties and methods of the child component. So I can use interpolation to bind the child data in the parent component template. Child dot name. And let me also create a button that says greet. And when we click on the button, I want to call the greet Vishwas method of the child component. So child dot greet Vishwas. Now, if you take a look at the browser, you can see that the name is displayed, which is Vishwas. And when I click on greet, the alert pops up displaying Hey Vishwas. So this feature is very useful when you're working with nested components and forms. So please do make a note of it. By using a template reference variable, we are able to access a child component's properties and methods in the parent component template. But what if we want to access them in the parent component class instead? For that, we will have to make use of the view child decorator, which we had seen earlier in the course. Let's see how to use that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.